My portable air conditioner will not cool the room. The Longi Pinguino Pack CN120E How can I help with your home repair question? What steps do I take to troubleshoot the problem? What specific appliance or part are you working with? I typed it in the previous comment. How long has this been going on? What have you tried so far? Since I plugged it in five days ago. I've unplugged it and replugged it in. The filter is clean. The exhaust tube is in the window just as I set it up last year when it was working fine. The storm window and window are opened. What's next? Anything else we should know to help you best? That's about it. I set the thermostat at 71 degrees and the highest temp was 83. It's just not cooling enough but it is cooling some. What's the brand and model of your thermostat? The thermostat on the unit not in the room. How long has this been going on with your thermostat? What have you tried so far? Five days. I've turned the thermostat lower to 61 and it has never cooled below 71 degrees. Hello, thanks for your question. Portable ACs with only one flex hose cool themselves by drawing air from the room and blowing it out the window. This causes low pressure in the room which results in hot and humid outside air being drawn into the room. That offsets about half of its normal cooling capacity. A bad application in that case unless the surrounding rooms have their own central AC. It is my view that the retailers and manufacturers of these units should tell the buyers about this, but they do not. A regrettable lack of competence and integrity. Portables with two large flex tubes work much better, they draw their own cooling air from outside, then blow that same air once it gets hot back outside. Let me know if that makes any sense on your end or not, we can go from there. Can you explain why my AC unit cooled real well the first two seasons I used it and now it's not? Can the AC unit I have be modified to add a second hose and replace the window closure plastic with a different style with two openings for air intake and exhaust if a person was a bit handy? I don't care to add any additional cost for a phone call. Hello again, if it cooled well for two years prior, but not now, it has become defective and needs repair or replacement. Repairs on those can cost almost as much as buying new one, however. This is how it goes with all equipment of any sort. It works wonderfully until it fails. Then it no longer works of course. It cannot be modified to use two hoses, its exhaust fan was not designed for that, unfortunately. Okay, thank you. Can you tell me what possibly could be in need of repair? Possibilities include, 1. A refrigerant leak. 2. Bucket water level switch 3. Printed circuit board replacement 4. Condensate pump replacement. 5. Less likely at only age 2, condenser and evaporator coil cleaning. I have the unit around 10 years but it has only been used 4 summers. Is someone still responding to my issue? I sent a message quite a while ago with no response. Hello, I was busy with another customer. Had you gotten my response? Here it is again copied below. 
Possibilities include, 1. A refrigerant leak. 2. Bucket water level switch 3. Printed circuit board replacement 4. Condensate pump replacement. 5. Less likely at only age 2, condenser and evaporator coil cleaning. These systems are built to sell for the absolute least amount of money possible, by the lowest bidder, hoping they outlast the one-year warranty. That is the situation, unlike the old days when things were made in America to last. We can go from there as needed. Okay, thanks. You are welcome, sorry for the bad news though. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.